next we are doing a crock pot recipe and I'm gonna let this go on low all night long so that we can wake up to a delicious lunch slash dinner. We're gonna be running around a lot tomorrow so I really don't wanna have to worry about it and doing stuff overnight it's just, it's easy. It's so easy. So this recipe, I'm going to call Crock-Pot Barbecue Ribs. This is how my mom would make it when she said we're having barbecue. This is what she meant. Any type of ribs, these just happen to be some beef short ribs. Uh, but any type of ribs, boneless, bone-in, she didn't care. She threw them in the crock pot and then added in her vegetables and you were good to go. <clears throat> so, we're going to do that too. <laughs> um, and it's actually, it's really, really good. And I've been with my husband for 10 years now and I've never made this for him and we were talking about it the other day. So, he wants to try it because he thinks it sounds good as well. So, all I have down here are two packs of my um, short ribs that I had for my cow. And then I'm going to add in, I think I'm going to cut them, my potatoes. And they were just small potatoes. And I'm just having them get them in there. And you can add as much or as little as you want. This is just the amount of potatoes that I had sitting on my counter. And then I have almost a full bag of baby carrots. Throw them in. And then you want an onion. Okay, so this is just one small onion, and I just have it quartered. That's it on the vegetables and the meat. That's all my mom would ever put in, and that's really all you need. Um, the amount would just change depending on what we had. If she's going grocery shopping, that sort of thing. So now. All you need is the barbecue sauce. And she always just used what we had on hand, and that is exactly what I'm doing. If I can get the lid off. Because I have two open canisters, and I want to get them used. So this one is a hickory smoke. In. And this one is a sweet brown sugar. And I think I'm going to get one more. I think I want one more. Okay, so to go with those, I'm going to throw in a sweet onion barbecue. Now, I have sweet onion jam in my pantry. However, I don't have that much left and I don't have the onions to make more at the moment so I don't want to use that. So I'll go ahead and use this. This is what's good about having a well-stocked pantry is variety. I know this won't come close to the sweet onion jam that I make but in a pinch it'll be good. It's, it's not bad, actually. Still not mine, but it's not bad. Okay, that's all I do. We're gonna put the lid on. We're gonna put it on low, and just let it go low and slow all night long. You could do this on high, but with ribs, the slower, the better. So I just do it low, let it do its thing. Once everything goes for probably five hours. I'll go in and stir it a bit, but all that's going to just melt together. It's going to be delicious. So I will bring you back in the morning when this is done. Hi guys. So it is the next day and this is done. You can see. Yes, baby. It is fall off the bone. Uh, and it has made this 
delicious sauce. It's the broth from the meat, plus you have that barbecue sauce, so it loosened it up, and it just coated and cooked everything in that flavor. It is phenomenal. Like, here's a carrot. Like, it's all the way through. All the way through. It is so good. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.